So we back with another video. Today we coming at y'all boys with another animation video. Today we gonna be going over the dunks. Now, if you haven't already seen it, I have ranked every single dunk in the game. If you wanna see that, go watch that. If you haven't seen it already, I ranked every layup. If you haven't seen that, go watch that. If you haven't seen the content dunk tutorial, I did that. Go watch that. All the links to those will be in the description. But today we gonna be giving y'all the best dunks in the game. We gonna be giving you guys the best layups. In the game. If y'all do want more videos like this, make sure to like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Further ado, let's hop into it. Now, when it comes to the best dunk packages in the game, now I now have a build that has a super high dunk. This is not the build, but yeah, um, I kind of dropped a teaser for it already in its own video, but yeah, in its own right. But with that being said, uh, when it comes to the best dunk packages, if you're going to go for two hands, I think the quick drop in back scratchers is the one you want to go with. And to combo that with the LeBron James is the best combination of dunk packages you can have. It does have some bad ones. If you could get like these dunks where you jump dunk from so far out on more, like if you, if there was like an actual dunk package, I don't, I've been trying my hardest to find what package it is. I personally think it's this dunk package, the Uber Athletic Off Ones, but the Uber Athletic Off Ones, they don't. They don't dunk from as far cons as consistent as the LeBron, and they have some more bad animations than LeBron. So I just find myself just using LeBron. Also because, look, it's a 90 driving dunk requirement with a 70 vertical. When the LeBron, all you need, 84 and 64. So yeah, it's kind of just what it is. Now you can't use this if you're a guard. If you're a guard, I say the replacement for LeBron would have to be, would have to be then the Tomahawk. But if you're not gonna use the Tomahawk, then I would just use the Westbrook. Kind of that simple. Another decent one is the Clyde Drexler. But, yeah. Um, and it kind of has the same requirement. And you can use it as a guard. So you can also use that as well if you're like on the smaller end of the X spectrum. But some people just go with the Clay Thompson. They be straight. So if you want to do that, you can go with the Clay Thompson. Another one that's like Clay Thompson that you can go with, uh, Manu Ginobili. So, yeah. Um, that's just kind of a thing. Um, that's just what I say. Um, now, when it comes to two hands, like I said, quick drops. Um, if you're a starter three, you can get crit drops off one. I probably will be putting that on, but yeah. Now, if you don't know, when you do flashy dunks, you do get a little bit bonus to your takeover. So, yeah, and if you have teammates on your team that use sponge, it's going to give them a bonus to their takeover as well if you do a flashy dunk. So, you can put on some of these part dunks and you go crazy with them. Um, I get mine off of the, I guess, the contact dunks. So, I try to put on as many as I can. Um, on my higher dunk rating build, I don't really care too much about doing that. But yeah, I'll put on as many as you can. Now, for the alley-oop, it's kind of the same thing. Um, I put on Elite and Zion because the pro is a little bit slower. I don't want it to mess up my timing. So that's kind of what it is. And when it comes to the alley-oops, I would say more so than the content else, you want to put on these as many as you can, but me, I'm just a little, I just wanna have the craziest content dunk animation possible, so I just put on the Elite. If I only get Pro, I put on Pro. Obviously, I just put on what I can, but if I can get the Elite, I just put on the Elite, cause I want the nastiest contact alley I can get. I can possibly get, and I don't have the Elite content dunk, so it's like, why not? You know what I'm saying, why not? But yeah. When it comes to the big man dunks, the big man dunks, I find myself using dunk, two hand under basket regular. Another one I've been finding myself use is the Pro Under Basket Rim Pulls, but those are the only ones I really would recommend. Um, and then when it comes to the contact out, uh, contact standing, it's kind of the same thing. You don't really want to put on both of these if you have the option to do so. But if you want to get a little bit freakier, have a nastier animation, more more than none, you just put on at least standing bigs and try to get crazy. Now, I will say this, the, the dump meter standing dunks are, I'm not gonna say it's easier than driving because driving is pretty easy right now, I'm not gonna lie. I honestly think they need to nerf. I feel like where they had it at the beginning of the year was fine, but y'all complained about like the game, like y'all always do. And the game is is it's gotten increasingly worse every, with every patch. And y'all do this every single year. I'm honestly I'm ready for GTA 6 at this point. I'm not gonna cap. I, I like people. I bro, you don't even know who's having a Zen. People telling me I got a Zen. I I don't even know what a Zen even look like in person. So I, it was just kind of wild. I, I ain't gonna lie, uh, like y'all really do be ruining these 2Ks. I can't cap. But yeah, that's the best dunk packages in the game. All right, so hopping into the layer package. When it goes to the layer package, y'all was going crazy in that comment section of me ranking every single layer package. Now, um, like I said, when it came to Trey Young, I was talking about how the floaters are crazy. 
I just, I guess, I wasn't ranking them based off of what's overpowered in the game. I was just ranking them based off of how much you could do with every single layer package. Now, y'all was killing me for the Julius Randle. Y'all was killing me for the Trey Young. So let's just get into it. If you're a guard, the best enemy, the best layer package in the game, supposedly, according to y'all, is Trey Young because you can just make anything Trey Young. Now the reason is y'all was saying was kind of wild. Y'all was saying y'all was making heavily contested layups with Trey Young. Why y'all taking heavily contested floaters? With Trae Young, I don't know, but maybe he just has a bigger green winner. I don't know. I, I'm a, I'm a believe y'all on that. I personally still would probably go with Kyrie. I personally still may go with um, what's it called? Uh, the Allen Iverson actually is a really solid layer package as well. But I think I like the, I like the Trae Young overall. I didn't like it as much as y'all. Y'all saying it's the best one. I gotta give y'all y'all props. Okay, we are gonna let y'all have that. Let me know if y'all mess with it for the people that hasn't been using Trae Young in your regard. Now, when it comes to the swings, it's a lot you can go over. But me personally, I'm gonna have to say it's gonna be Jimmy Butler. Um, I'm starting to think it, I'm starting to create a little bit of distance with Jimmy Butler. I like the Euros, I like the floaters, I like the scoops. The scoops is probably the worst of the two when it comes to the Anthony Edwards. I think Anthony Edwards definitely has better scoops. But overall, I think Jimmy Butler is nice. Um, Kobe Bryant is nice. It's some nice uh, swings, but I think Jimmy Butler is my favorite of everything on the swings. If you guys have something y'all want to say on that. Y'all can put that in the comments down below like y'all did with the Trey Young and the Julius Randle. Now, when it comes to the bigs, I think the bigs best one is, uh, again, another one like Kyrie where you have to be starter three to get it, the Sabonis. But if you can't get Sabonis, I think it's Giannis Antetokounmpo, personally. Um, that's just me. If that's a hot take, make me hot. I don't know and take it. I don't know. I don't know why I said that. But, yeah, that's the best lips in my opinion in the game but yeah that's gonna be the best dunk packages in the game like i said in the intro i did rank every single dunk package in the game if you do want to see that where i go over some other dunks that i didn't really go into this video because i really just went over the best that i use now there are some ones i really don't like to use but they are some of the best in the game so if you do want to see every single dunk package ranked in the game there's a video for that i ranked everything in layup there's a video for that contact dunk tutorial if you're struggling getting contacts when i made that it was significantly tougher but there is a video for that. So if you use the video for how tough it was back then, when they, before they patched it and made it easier for the dunk meter, you're going to be 10 times better than I was at that time. But yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Like I said, though, um, I appreciate y'all, boys. Like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Further ado, man. It's your boy Fitz. I'm out there, man. <laughs>